Hi, my name is Jess and welcome back to my channel. Um, I almost forgot to do my opening for my reading vlog for the Cocky Tales Anthology. So, this is, it's day five still right now, tomorrow, well, it's actually, no, it's now day six. Um, and I'm on Novelist 6, uh, Don't Get Cocky by Ruth Clampett. And I'm going to read the synopsis here. It says, the artists at Sketch Republic Animation Studio are in up, an uproar thanks to their noble leader wanting to do a series featuring a politically incorrect rooster character named Sir Cocky Doodle Doo. Love struck Nathan and his dream girl Brooke from Animate Me hatch a plan to sabotage the cocky show and all the artists get behind them in an uprising of animated proportions. And above the little first area, it says, this story features Nathan and Brooke from Animate Me and takes place around a third into the original story where they have become close friends and additional benefits. Meanwhile, Sketch Republic is in an uproar thanks to their noble leader wanting to do a series featuring a politically incorrect rooster named Sir Cocky Doodle Doo. So, I've already started this and that's why I was needing to get this in there. Um, so yeah, I will get back to you. Okay, so I have finally finished uh, Ruth Clampett's novel. Sorry if I said your name wrong. Uh, don't get cocky. The reason it took me so long is because of life things, but then also, this one I is the first one so far that I've read that I just struggled to get through. Um, it's a cute setup. As I told you in the previous video, it from what Ruth says is that it's within the first chapter of her novel Animate Me. Or not the first chapter, it's within the first like half-ish area of her other novel. Um, I don't know if this is actually something, I'm, I'm assuming the way that it's set up is that it's made up for it, but it could have been an al already a plot line within her other novel. Um, and it's a good setup. I really like how um, Brooke and I believe his name is Nathan, let me be sure. Yes? Sorry. Yes, Brooke and Nathan. Sorry. Um, I really like how Brooke and Nathan work together in their friendship, and it's really cute the way Nathan really likes Brooke. Um, it's just that the ish, the plot line of this little novella for it, I struggled to get through. It just didn't hook me as it could have. Um, I am giving it three stars, though. Not because... It, it's not that I disliked it, because three stars for me is a good read. And it is a good read. Um, I liked, like I said, I like Nathan and Brooke, and I have hopes for them. Definitely have hopes for them. And it did make me intrigued into Miss um, Clampett's novel Animate Me, because they do seem like a really cute couple. Um, especially with the comic book references and how <laughs> they have these superhero nicknames and such. It is really cute. Um, it's just the plot line for this, it seemed unfinished and that is because of it being within the book, uh, the, no the other novel I believe. So. Yeah, it's just uh, three stars is for what I got for Don't Get Cocky by Ruth Clippett. But that's okay. I don't have to like them all. So, we have next up is Illusionist Seeks Nithandral. I know I said that wrong and I apologize. By L.H. Causeway. And the synopsis says, if I can read it right this time. Uh, have you ever wondered what would happen when two characters from completely different book worlds collide? Ooh. Well, wonder no more. Illusionist seeks Nithandral 
is a short story featuring Jay Fields from Six of Hearts and Jane Morris from Nathanderall Seeks Human. Interesting. Okay, so before I go into my review for this uh, novella by L.H. Causeway, um, I'm going to just do this little clip to inform you because I did not, I wasn't aware of this. I had to look it up because if you've watched any of my other videos, you know I'm big about finding out my information about the background of the books before I go into them. So I looked up on Goodreads um, because as you heard in my previous video, the uh, background for the novella that we're getting into, um, which is Illusionist Seeks, Nathander, I had this already, Nathanderall, there we go. Um, so, and it has um, Jay Fields in this and also Jay Morris. Well, I told you that already. Yeah, I know I'm repeating myself. Anywho, these, as you've been seeing on the screen, are the books and it's actually L.H.'s, um, Miss Cosway's, uh, character, Jay, and then, um, Penny Reads, I think that's how you say her name, um, Penny Reed, as you can see, sorry, anywho, um, Penny's, uh, uh, character, Jane, so, uh, yeah. I thought it was both of Miss Causeway's books, but it's not. It's actually two different authors that Miss Causeway has created this novella into. So, stay tuned. Hopefully, I like it. Okay, I finally finished The Illusionist Seeks and the Neanderthal. Neanderthal. Oh gosh, I'm sucky at that. Okay, I know I tried to explain this novella to you before, and I really sucked at it, but, um,. I had not read the two novels that each of the uh, characters, the main characters in this novella was based on, um, and it's kind of like a prequel to their novels, <clears throat> and I like both of them. Um, if they actually did not get together with who they got together with, I'm assuming in their own novels, um, then I could see these two possibly together, but... I, I don't know. I mean, it was cute. It was very, very cute. Definitely, if you were fans of those novels, I recommend you checking this one out. I haven't read them, though. I've heard of them, or I've heard of one, but I hadn't heard of the other. Um, so yeah, definitely cute. Uh, it didn't hook me that much, but I am very interested in uh, Jay's novel that is actually um, L.J. Causeway's uh, novel, the character Jay Fields. Yeah, I'm definitely interested in his illusionist novel, and if I get the chance, I might pick that one up, because this one really, this character really intrigues me. So, that one, um, I'm gonna give it 3.5 stars, because though I really like the characters, I just wasn't hooked. I wasn't tempted to pick it up when I put it down. It just wasn't fully for me, but I liked the setup. I liked the cute, quick relationship they both have, and it's not really even a relationship, but it is very intriguing, and you get to see from both perspectives, so that was cute. So yes, that is going to be it for today, because this vlog version for even these two novelas it's been hard for me to get through for them, so I'm going to get this out to you guys, and hopefully I will get you some more soon. Um, please like or dislike this video as you see fit. I thank you for sticking around here for this vlogging of the Cocktails Anthology. Please hang around because there's a lot more to go to. Um, stick around, subscribe wherever you can. Um, and stick around to this channel because you have ne never know what in the world's going to happen next on here. Take care.